Time for baseball of the AAA variety as the show brings you coverage from the International League. We've got baseball on the 4th of July between the Toledo Mud Hens and the Columbus Clippers. Stepping in, Troy Stokes. And we are set for baseball here this evening. This one's down to third. He's got it. And there's one gone to start the night. So stepping in, number 19, looking for better results than last night when he went 0 for 4 in that one. A great pitch there as he couldn't get extended on that one and he's down on strikes for the second out. Striding in Elvis Vizcaino. He drove in one of their two runs in last night's ball game. And it's fouled away. Making him sweat out there. The seventh pitch coming up. Hit back up the middle. Scooped up. Uh, throw not nearly in time, so despite the great effort, that'll go into the books as an infield single. The right fielder, Jorge. So now to the plate, Jorge Bonifacio. A little bit outside, two and one. Changeup, called a strike, and he comes back even at two and two. As a look, now the pitch. Waved at and missed for the third out. Not much of a chance at hitting that one, and the inning is over. So digging in now, Brian Rocchio. It lead things off here in the bottom half of the first. And now a curveball that's low and in the dirt for a ball. It's two and one. And this one's low here, so the count swells to three and one. Having a little trouble finding the zone to start the night. It's always deflating to walk the leadoff guy in the game, so we'll see if he can initiate some contact here. He'll take it to the bag himself, and the leadoff man is gone here to start the home first. Standing in, Mike Freeman, and he's a guy looking to break out in a big way. Hasn't been getting the results he or his club have been hoping for. He's fallen behind now, three and one. Swung on and blasted foul to the right. And wow, that got all the way out to the Riverfront Club. Good bite to that sinker as he gets him to swing through it for out number two. So striding forward now, Greg Allen took an 0 for 4 in the victory last night. A 1-1 one one count. Here's the pitch. Fly ball into straightaway left. Stokes will reach out with one hand to make the catch on the move, and that ends the inning. New inning set to get underway, and standing in is the DH, Frank Schwindel. Into the windup, here's the two and one pitch. And there's ball three on a breaking ball that misses away. And the count will be full. In the air to straightaway right. Right fielder is on the run. He gets there and makes the play for the first out. Brandon Dixon steps in now. It's been a rough go for him at the plate as he enters this one with a season average in the 230s. And he'll lay off the fastball down low. It's two and one now. Back up the middle. Oh, look at the sliding stop. He goes to first. He is out. Standing in, Daz Cameron. The work on keeping this top of the second alive. The two one. There's a low changeup that's laid off. 
This is a good at bat so far here with two away. If you're going to go down one, two, three, at least make the guy work for it. He's doing that, and he's even gotten himself into a good hitter's count now. Too high, and that cost him ball four. John Nunez. Oh, right back to him on the mound. And he'll flip it onto first, and with it, that ends the inning. Last half of the second set to go, and now it'll be the catcher, Bo Naylor. And the 2 1. Sinker misses there, and now he's in trouble, 3 and 1. Call didn't go his way on two and one, but it's important here on three and one to still make a quality pitch. You have to have the mindset that you're still the one in the driver's seat. Set to get his evening at the plate started, Daniel Johnson, batting just a notch below 300 so far on the season. High and deep down the left field line. And this will not be caught. It's a foul ball. The one two. A swing and a shot hit down the corner. And that nearly broke our scoreless tie. Instead, it's a foul ball. Comes back with the cut fastball for strike three called, and there are two down. Ready now, Nolan Jones. Try to make something happen with two gone in the bottom of the second. Ground ball sent back up the middle. Throw in the dirt, but a good scoop at first saves an error as this side is retired. Digging in, Dawa Lugo. First at bat for him in this one. He was one for four with a double in the ball game last night. The 1 1 home. Misses for the second ball. I don't blame him for not coming over the heart of the plate. He circled this guy on the lineup card when he got to the yard today. He's been swimming. Oh, hold on. What a stop. So one away after the phenomenal defensive effort. Digging in for his second at bat, Troy Stokes. Second appearance here. He grounded out to start the ball game. Set to deal on two and two. Swing and a ball hit to the left side, and this is going to wind up a souvenir. And a change up here, but that's taken low in the dirt for a ball. Liner towards second. And that's into the outfield for a one out base hit. Now batting. The third base Isaac. To the plate now, number 19. Pitch outside the throw. It skips in and he's safe. Close play, but he's in there. Three and one pitch is in there for a full count now. Three and two. Too close for comfort, and he did a good job just to make contact. The payoff pitch one more time is in there. A called strike three. Coming to the plate now, Elvis Vizcaino. And he can give his guys an early lead if he can come through here. One and one. Here it is. Hit hard to short. Reined in. Throw on to first. Gets him, and the side is retired. Coming to the plate now, Connor Mirabel, as we move on to the bottom of inning number three. From the windup, the 1 1 pitch. And a sinker dips too low there, into the dirt, in fact. 
And he can't catch the corner here, so he's behind three and one. Three ball count right now. This looks like the best chance of getting a base runner on so far. That's lifted the other way out to left. Stokes is over toward the line a bit as he takes it for the first out. For the plate now is the designated hitter. Li Jin Chu comes off an 0 for 4 in last night's ball game. Swung on and he went fishing in the dirt. And the throw to first is there to record the second out. Into the box now, Oscar Gonzalez. This guy is still looking at a zero in the hit column. Here's the one and one pitch. Bottom of inning number three, nothing, nothing our score. Good pitch there down below the zone, got him to go after it. Hey, like to see a little bit more discipline in that. You get a count in your favor, and he's swinging a pitch that bad? Not good. Now another 2-2. Two, two. Sinker, 3-2 and two now. Well, he really needs to make this guy swing the bat right here. He's not the type of hitter you want to dance around with. Sent out to straightaway center field. Cameron is in his tracks now, and that will retire the side. Stepping in and ready for another shot, Jorge Bonifacio. He looked to bounce back after striking out his last time up. This game is rolling right along as we move into the middle innings with no score. You'd think by now one of these two teams would be able to get some base runners on and get him in, but that hasn't been the case. Hit in the air down the left field line. Gonzalez moves over near the line as he puts it away for the first out of the inning. Now Striding back. forward Definitely now is the D.H. Frank. Frank Schwindel. He flew out in his last at bat. Three and one. Here it is. Fouled off. And that's low ball four. So one got in the inning here with the runner at first. And now here's Brandon Dixon. Brandon Dixon. Down the first baseline, but a foul ball, one and two now. From the belt, kicks and deals. Left side. And that is through into left field, a base hit. And now he has some trouble with it in left. Throw into third. Now batting, the center fielder. Dad. Cameron. At the plate, Daz Cameron grounded to the right. Throw on to first, two gone. Digging in to try it again, John Nunez. Nunez. He's the 0 for 1 thus far. John Nunez. A little behind on that swing, and now he'll try to shorten up maybe and protect the plate. The one-two pitch. Sent on the ground out to second. Fielded cleanly. Throw on to first, and that error won't come back to haunt him after all as the inning is over. Stepping into the box, Ryan Rocchio is set to lead us off in the home half of the fourth inning. The 1-1. One, one. Now a ball swung on and heading for the stands in right, and that'll move the count to one and two now. A knuckle curve there, and he thought he had him, but it's two and two. Oh, this one bounces off the pitcher. Recovery throw is not in time, and that'll go down as a painful single. Now batting. The second base Stepping in now, Mike Freeman. Swinging a ball hit on the ground to second for one, but no real shot at two as he's safe easily at first. 
Stepping up now, Greg Allen. Flied out in his first half bat, so making 0 for 1 so far. The 2 1 home. Throw over to first. And a dive, but he's back in there. Freeman leads off first with one away. And a half-hearted attempt that time, but they'll say he broke the plane, and that's out number two. Next will be the cleanup hitter. Bo Naylor hit it hard, but lined out in his first at bat. The 2-2 fouled away. Pitching has the upper hand early as we're scoreless in inning number four. Swing and a miss, and that ends the inning. All set for the start of the inning, and stepping up as the shortstop, Dawa Lugo. A 1-1. Sent on the ground out to second. And the fifth inning will start with a ground out, one away. Digging in and looking for more, Troy Stokes. Last time through was a base hit. Yeah, guys, everyone knows he's been slumping. Dan, you can certainly attest to this, only amassing a solid one hit in your entire career. But pressure's off now. Maybe he gets hot. And that's upstairs, running the count to three and one. And a fastball misses there, ball four. Ready for another shot now, number 19. He's hoping to avoid the hat trick. He struck out in each of his first two plate appearances so far. Here's the one and one pitch. And that one misses badly, it's ball two. Here's a look over to first, and the runner back safely. On its way is pitch number 75, and he fouls this one off. Good change up in the dirt, strike three. And he'll make it into scoring position here with two away, as that'll be scored a wild pitch. Digging in once again, Elvis Vizcaino. He's one for two in the ball game. The set and the 1 1. And this is pulled fouled as he was way out in front there. Two out here and a runner at second. One two is an off speed pitch. No dice. It's two and two. Pulled high in the air out to left field. And he'll get there in plenty of time to put this one away, and that ends the inning. Set now for the bottom of the fifth, and next to bat will be the outfielder, Daniel Johnson. The 1-1. One, one. Time to wake up the offense right here. 3-1 count, all in on something over the heart of the plate. And that misses ball four now. It's a leadoff walk to get the home half of the fifth underway. Now At the plate, Nolan Jones. The 1-2. Line drive to center field. And that's in there, base hit. And he's safe. And now Connor Mirabel lifted the other way down the left field line. And this will wind up a foul ball. This is line to left. Catch made in left. Here comes the runner for the plate. Oh, but it's off line, so the run will score. 
Now batting, now batting. Lee Jin Chu, the he was a strikeout hitter. victim in his first try. And there he goes towards second. On a rope to the second baseman. Now a throw behind the runner, and it's in time to get him. And that, folks, is the danger of the hit and run. Settling in now, Jorge Bonifacio. He's 0 for 2 in the ballgame so far. Now the 1-1 one one pitch. Hard liner to center field. And that's a base hit, so the pressure's on to open up the inning. Now that designated hitter, Frank Swindell. Standing in now, Frank Swindell. Three and two now. Now the fastball is right by him as he swings and misses for the first out of the inning. Now in the box, Brendan Dixon. He's working on a one for two game so far. Three balls and a strike. Here's the pitch. Fastball taken, but that gets the zone for a strike. I think it's a real possibility that they put that runner in first in motion. That would help them stay out of that double play that would end the inning, but that's also kind of risky at the same time. High and deep to left. This one's got plenty of distance into the upper deck and gone. Into the box, Daz Cameron. Grounded back up the middle. And there's out number two. Ready for another chance. John Nunez. He got on top of one and was a ground out victim last time. The one and two pitch. Looked like the fastball got away from him there. It's ball two. Full count as that misses. It's three and two now. Now the payoff pitch home. Line drive, base hit to right. Dalbert Siri takes over here with the runner at first and two gone in the inning. To the plate now, Dawa Lugo. Fastball is looked at for strike two. Grounded up the first baseline, but a foul ball as it holds it two and two. Again, he sends it out of play. Here's another 2-2. Got him swinging as he runs the fastball by him to end the inning. <laughs> Leading off the inning, Oscar Gonzalez. And they'll need him to get something going here. Swing and a miss strike two. Line to the right side. And the ball is dropped. <laughs> At the plate now, Brian Rocchio. And this one's in the dirt. No advance here, but it's three and one now. Hitters count all the way. Here it comes. Hit down the line at first. But a foul ball, and it's full now at three and two. Now the payoff pitch home. Oni pops it up. And that'll get down for a base hit. Kyle Funkhauser will come on in relief now as he'll make his 35th appearance of the season.
Into the box now, Mike Freeman. And here's a fastball not close as he runs it to two and one now. A swing and he pulls it down the line and deep. And this is going to wind up as extra bases as that'll play one for sure and maybe a second. Stepping in now, Greg Allen. He pops him up toward the left side of the infield. Number 19 is under it, no problem, one away. At the plate, Bo Naylor. He was sat down on strikes in his last at-bat. And he can't allow the same thing to happen in this situation. This is a big-time spot in this game. He's got to find a way to put the ball in play. No offer on that one. Two balls and a strike. Everyone in the ballpark knows what the pitcher's intentions are in this situation. Great job at the plate to lay off a tough pitch in a good spot. Ball even at two and two. Ready now. Two strike pitch on its way. Popped him up. Nunez over to his right. He's got it and there are two down now. Now at the plate, Daniel Johnson. Right fielder. Daniel. Runners at second and third with two gone. Swing and a miss, and it's a ball and two strikes here. Definitely a big pitch coming up right here. He's going to be pumped if he can work his way out of this inning with the game still tied. And a swing and a miss on a pitch that winds up hitting him. And rather bizarrely, the inning is over. Now back to the top of the lineup, stepping in, Troy Stokes. A hit in two official trips to the plate to this point in the ballgame. Ready with the two and two. And this will miss down low in the dirt, so he's worked it full now at three and two. When you're playing close games like this, base runners mean everything, so he can ill afford to start giving away free passes. He's through first and hustling for second. And this will find the wall deep in the corner. And he will make it in safely. He's in at third as the go-ahead run. Now batting the third baseman. Standing in now, number 19. This is on the ground over to first. And he will deliver one of the biggest at-bats of the night. It's a base hit. And that'll score the runner from third as they seize control here, three to two. So now to the plate, Elvis Vizcaino. And it's fouled away. Here's the one and two delivery. In the dirt here, but it won't skip away far enough for the runner to advance. Working for the punch out and the offering. Nobody out, runner on first. Fouled off. You're lucky if you get one pitch a night right down the middle. Cannot be late on that fastball. Now a ball pulled hard but foul off to the left. Another 2-2 offering. Okay. These are the kind of A-Bs regardless of the outcome. You go back to the dugout as an offensive player and your teammates are loving on you. There's a drive high in the air and deep to left center field. See you later. Over the wall, a home run. James Hoyt comes on now, and he'll take over with nobody out in inning number seven. In now, Jorge Bonifacio. There's the good fastball, and he can't catch up. Three and two. When you get yourself to a 3-1 count and you get a fastball, those are the ones you really want to punish. Couldn't get the bat on it, so we'll see if that comes back to haunt him. Designated hitter. Next will be the designated hitter, Frank Schwindel. He struck out swinging in his last trip to the plate. Yeah, and kind of shocked he got blown away with a fastball. You could tell he was late on that one. And we'll see 
if he tries to cheat to something this A.B. This is hit high in the air out toward left center. Center fielder on the run, and he tracks it down. Nice play for the first down. Ready to take his hacks again, base, Brandon 12. Dixon, as Brandon. he'll look to follow up the two-run homer he launched over the wall last time up. Well, Matt, this is one of the problems. This guy's a good fastball, particularly low fastball hitter. It doesn't matter how hard or how low you throw it. That's right into this wheelhouse. What you want to do with this guy is move the ball from the belt up to get him to chase something that, that maybe he'll pop up in the infield. The 3-1. And he lays off here. A nice job. It's ball four. First and second now with one away. Ready once again, Daz Cameron. He was a ground out victim last time up. Yeah, Matty, expect this pitcher to try and get the same result. That's his last at bat right here. The double play is in order. Anything on the ground, the way this defense is, they could certainly roll too. Oh, and not an easy pitch to lay off of, but he did somehow, and he's got it to three and one. I'll tell you, it's a helpless feeling for a manager or a pitching coach when your pitchers are having a really hard time throwing strikes. What are you supposed to do other than keep trying new guys until someone starts attacking the zone? Lifted in the air to center. Allen is there now, and he has it. Two gone. Riding in once again, John Nunez. Two outs and two runners aboard here in the seventh inning. Well above the letters with the fastball that time. And he strikes him out here, so he's able to stop the bleeding a bit as the side is retired. Bottom of the inning now, and set to go is the third baseman, Nolan Jones. The 2-2. Swung on and missed. He got him on strikes. Stepping up to the plate, Connor Maribel. Hit the ball pretty well in his last at-bat, but it resulted in a line out. Yeah, Matty, it's always a little frustrating when you square one up. You hit a solid line drive like he did, and all you have to show for it is a jog back to the dugout. That can get in your head for a little while. Swing and a miss on the changeup, and there are two gone. Now at the plate, now Lee Jin Chu. First two men in the inning have both Three. gone down yes. via the punch Good. out, so we'll see if he can fare any better. Swung on and missed. What's one and two now. Down? He's one pitch away from striking out the side, but even more than that, to throw a donut up after your offense put up some runs, I can't tell you what. And we'll have to leave it there as this is strike three, and that will retire the side. Nick Sandlin has been summoned from the bullpen as he'll do so to start the eighth. Number 31. Striding into the box, Dawa Lugo. He went down on strikes last time up. The one two. Hit hard on the ground towards second. And this is going to be through into center field for a base hit as the leadoff man's aboard in the eighth. Now back, left fielder, Troy Into the Stokes. box, Troy Stokes. Takes this the other way to right. In there, a base hit. And that runner will go no further than second as there are two aboard now. Now back, the third baseman, Isaac Corona. To the plate now, number 19. And he'll strike out here yet again as it's been a ball game to forget thus far. Four strikeouts. We're in the eighth oh, inning now of a 5-2 to two ball game. Hit on the ground toward the left. A diving effort as it's off his glove. But the recovery will come too late, and the bases are loaded now. Now battle. The right fielder. Jorge. Stepping in now, Jorge Bonifacio. Oh, and it misses ball four, and that will force home a run. Now Kyle Nelson is called upon to pitch, really needing Frank. that double play ball. Bases are loaded here with only one man out. Frank Schwindel will be the first to meet him here, and he'll do so in an enviable situation indeed. Bases loaded and only one out now. Now a swing and a miss, and he's behind one and two.
fouled away. The one two. Now a swing and he pops him up. And I believe, yes, the umpire signaling for the infield fly rule. Stepping in, Brendan now Dixon. Done. He's two for the three and looking for more here. And he misses two and one. It often becomes harder to hit the zone when the pressure starts to heat up. All even now, two and two. Hit hard up the middle. And that's through into center field. Base hit. One run is scored. And the second run will score as a potential route is on. It's now eight to two. Now that the center fielder, Daz Cameron. Into the box now, Daz Cameron. And he strikes him out here, so he's able to stop the bleeding a bit as the side is retired. Bottom of inning number eight set to go. And next, it'll be the outfielder, Oscar Gonzalez. It doesn't look very promising so far in this one as we move into the later innings. Down by a bundle, it's time to get some base runners and hopefully a long ball to get them back into this one. Swung on and lifted in the air to left center. Cameron will slide over and put this one away. And that's out number one. So the batting order now turns batting. over now and set That's to go stop. Brian Rocchio. Oh, yeah. So far, two for three in this Rokio. one. The three-two pitch. Oh, and he lets him off the hook there as this isn't even close for ball four. And the now next batting. batter will be Mike the Freeman. Second. He's got a hit in three at-bats to this point. And he fouls this one off. The one two he is swung on and missed. He got him on strikes. In now, now Greg back. Allen. He was retired after Greg. popping out in his last Allen. at bat. Yeah, I don't mind him trying to drive the ball in the air, but he can't collapse the backside, and that's exactly what he did in his last at bat. Look for him to stay a little taller and keep that upper half a little bit more over him. Easy there, big fella. Two and two. That swing had one purpose, and that was to put the ball over the wall. I guess he doesn't have much to lose with his team down this many at this point in the game. Throw to second for the force out, and the side is retired. All set to start the ninth in this one, and digging in is the switch hitting catcher, John Nunez. Hit back up the middle. He's got it. Throw on to first for the out, and that is how the ninth inning gets underway. Now Stepping into the box, Dawa Lugo. He singled his last time up. Now the one and one pitch. Waves and misses for strike number two. Oh, I love that pitch right there. Up and in. Jam. Sandwich. Now a fastball, but that's easy to lay off, and it's back to even at two and two. High in the air out towards shallow right. Johnson will come in a bit and put it away for the second out of the inning. Into the box the now, Troy Stokes. He reached on a single last time and later wound up scoring. One and two now as that one's fouled off. Good plate discipline to lay off the slider that time, and he draws even a two and two. Here's a fly ball well hit. 
Center fielder giving chase. But he can't get there and it bounces over the wall. It's a ground rule double. Now batting. Third base. Isaac. Perrin. So now to the plate, number 19. Fastball called strike. One and two. Right side, but it's going to be a foul ball. Runner in scoring position at second with two down. And he strikes out again. And that's the fifth time he's punched out today. This has certainly not been his game. Ready to go for the last half of the inning. And next to hit is the catcher, Bo Naylor. Down the left field line and deep. And this will wind up a foul ball. Here's the one and two delivery. Pulls this one into the air out into right field. Bonifacio is there and that's not the start to the bottom of the ninth this crowd was hoping for. One away. Into the box. Daniel Johnson. 0 for 2 for him to this point. In for strike two. Hey, that's a great job by the pitcher right there. Stealing a strike with that get me over breaking ball. And now he can get a little nastier with it in the dirt. Line toward the alley in left center. And that's in for a base hit. Make it a one for three games so far. Anthony Castro enters from the bullpen, hoping to get the final two outs and put this one into the win column. Go! At the plate now, Nolan Jones tries to change up on him there, but it's a ball two and one. High in the air out to center field. Cameron is there to put it away, and the runner will be forced to retreat back to first. Digging in now, Connor Maribel. He was sat down on strikes in his last at bat. Yeah, but it was a good changeup, Maddie. Good arm action on that pitch. Look for him to try and stay back a little bit more. Let the ball get a little deeper. Don't be shocked if this pitcher tries to rush a heater right here. On to first, and that is going to conclude the festivities here tonight. Yeah, that's what you want to do when you're playing on the road. Take it right to the home squad and get a win. Now the pressure is off. If they get one of the next two, the series is theirs. Eight to two tonight's final. The Mud Hens jumped ahead in the seventh inning and never gave the lead back. Kyle Funkhauser gets the win in relief, his sixth of the season. So that's a wrap here tonight. For Mark DeRosa, Dan Plezak, this is Matt Vaskersian. You've been watching MLB The Show. For more, find us on Twitter at MLB The Show. The final line score for our ball game for the victorious Mudhead. Eight runs on 14 hits. No errors. They left 12 men on base. For the Clippers, two runs, six hits. One error. They left six men on base. Time of the ball game, three hours and 18 minutes. Thank you for joining us here this evening. We remind you to please drive home safely.